we are going to go through and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a step through each of these to show you guys how to identify. This really is for folks that do not have much experience on um, doing like BIOS mods and feel comfortable with that and how to, how to use the software, why you'd want to do it, that sort of thing, guys. You here. And you can see that number one GPU, 22.54, that is base stock with these cards with memory set to 2000. So, and then you'll see on these cards here that with the different BIOSes that I have loaded, some like this one is set for 2000. Also, I have it already set for 2000 for each of these, but some of these like this one, 1750, and it's running at 1750 because it's base stock, no overclocks on it. But the clocks have not, the memory timings have not been adjusted. So just the overclock of the memory only goes so far. Why would you rather mod the RX Plus playing the strap with Claymore? You can do it with the straps in Claymore, um, but as Claymore is deprecated, so it's a good question. So one of the questions that came up in chat was, why would you go through the, the issues with the BIOS when there's there's software tech now that will intercept and adjust the timings when the miner starts up? Thereby, you don't have to go through and adjust the straps. You could use a function within Claymore Miner to effectively do this. One of the reasons why I wanted to go through this with folks is because one, as of right now, Claymore is going to be deprecated. Like he, from our understanding, he's not making any more updates to it. And I don't know if he's going to open source, you know, the Claymore tool itself, you know, the miner itself, allow somebody else to take the reins of it and then move forward with any updates. But eventually that's going to be deprecated by some other function. So if they, Phoenix Miner or any of the other ones come in and try to in integrate the kind of in memory flight adjustments, that might be a thing, but BIOS is by and large are consistent once they're set and you don't have to mess with them just because of the consistency. I know that every time it's gonna boot up, it's gonna be set to those straps. There's no kind of weird in memory issues that would come up. Um, but you can use Claymore. If you're using Claymore and you're using that, you find a good strap setting, if it's strap one, strap two, strap three, that makes sense for your particular card and you're getting that. At the end of the day, it comes down to what is the output of the card. And if it's on like a 574 gig, if it's 29 to 30 mega hash, you're probably in good shape. Then it comes down to, are you dialing your power down? to get the most out of it. That one is at 100% GPU load. So the second one down on this list is GPU three, and that is getting 25. I mean, this, this went down a little bit because I was pulling the GPU there. So there we are, we're back up to 25.3 with this BIOS. So we're gonna close that one down, make sure we're on the right one. We're on the second one there, and we're gonna save this one to a file, and now that we're not mining with it, it it'll pop up real quick. We're gonna use that as the baseline. We're gonna say, I think this is just timings. Timing. And this has still stock 750 memory speed, and this is 25, it's called 25 mega hash. Save. So the one with stock was 20, 21 mega hash. The one with just timings was 25 mega hash. And then I had two with slightly different adjustments and timing. And we're gonna say GPU four here. And we're gonna save. And we're gonna validate that this is, which GPU this is. And what we're doing is we're gonna take the fastest BIOS here, because there's the four different BIOSes on these cards and one of these are 29 and it's almost, almost 30 mega hash. So I'm gonna take that BIOS and I'm gonna deploy it to all four of these once we did it. But we'll open that BIOS up and we'll look what the changes are. I will have the this BIOS, so if you have this GPU, I'll, ha I'll post this BIOS for you guys to be able to download and use. Yeah, with this at 2000 and there is a ultra mix of BIOS for this with the timings a little more dialed up. The problem are, and this gets almost 31 mega hash with that with that timing copied over, but it's not rock star stable. I mean, like over time, it actually dies. I mean, when I'm at a little over 30 mega hash on these cards, this BIOS here, where it's right around mid 29, we can get to almost less than 100, 100 watts. I think right now, let's see what it's running out on that. I closed out the power. Um, let's see here, let's get close to the main power. So right at 200, this thing, let's see. And now the other GPUs are actually on, they're just not 
pulling pulling too much juice probably five ten gp probably about five watts per card when they're not being used so i mean this thing's 29.3 your gpu z bring this back up this will drop when i'm opening up gpu z because it put some overhead on that GPU. But this is the 29 mega hash um, BIOS that I wanna use my live streams if this time works out. So yeah, right around, right around 100 flat on this one on the GPU power draw from, the, from that. So not too bad at 1990. It gets a little lower if we can get, we can hold around 90, 95 watts. 29 is great when it's stable, yep. Yeah, this thing will run for this rig at 29 mega hash will run indefinitely. Like I've had it r running for 40 plus days at one point uh, without a reboot at 29.7 mega hash, somewhere around there. API wind flash. 9.3 over to downloads, over to PowerShell. Open as administrator, yes. Nope, I didn't copy the path here. Does it not have the executable? It's only got, oh, got it. They renamed it. Ah, what is this? Okay, so it passed the test. This is going to be AMD VB. There it goes. And now it's gonna flash that BIOS on each adapter one after another, just in succession. So even though it's gonna reflash the same BIOS, on the same card that's okay so that's all working so it came down and it shows it programmed each adapter so now it's rolling through and it's doing it how did it get to pass the test a new version of the ati flash which now is called amd vb flash and that's version 9 point or 2.9.3 the syntax is right there so anybody that wanted to see let me see if i can zoom into that let's see your pc view we'll go a little a little more so you guys can see this syntax that was used here. So once you download that ATI flash, you can use the latest GPU Z to save your BIOS file off. And then you can use PowerShell with administrator mode. And then there's your syntax. So the, the slash PA or the dash PA is all adapters. And then the next thing after that, that pass ID is all adapters with that type of, with that type code. So if you have different adapters, you don't want to, you don't want to try to push it to everything. The good thing is, is there's a lot of protection built into this. So like it won't let you, like if it doesn't meet that right uh, ID, it's not going to let it flash. We're going to set these to 1950. I got two keyboards here and that should set for all of them. I could put the settings in and we're at one, almost 116 for the four. What I'd end up doing with this build is knowing that I have two of the cards stable at 29 and a half, 29.8. I would take those to 2000. I would find the two that are 1950 and I would just set those to 1950. Um, it's just cracking 29 mega hash right now. Main power at 60, eh, 620, 606. So I want to bring these down some um, and see how low we can go with the power. You know, we got nine accepted shares here, no, no negatives, so that's good. And for four gig 570s, that's not bad. Considering what the price you can get these five these 570s for. Because uh, if you can find if you can find 570s for $40 and you could build a I mean this rig would be 160 bucks plus the motherboard and stuff set up. I mean that's pretty crazy. Like your ROI on that is insanely fast. Uh, 25. We'll see. So we knocked off about 60 watts, 50 watts by doing that not bad 50 watts so now we're at 5 540 for these four cards we're at 28 and a half 29 and if you notice what i was telling you about the stability where people people get really bummed out when they see their windows rebooting all the time right they're like oh this i'm gonna freaking table flip this thing 
It's just patience and figuring out what the problem with the card is. It's usually one card out of your stack of cards and it's one that you just have to nurture a little differently. It needs maybe a little tweak to the memory settings. It maybe needs a little tweak to something else, but it's not bad. It's probably not a bad riser. It's probably not a bad hardware thing in general. It's just a setting. So get your mindset in that it's a setting. Let me deduct cards one at a time and you'll probably spend about four hours of going through something and just understand you're going to dedicate that time to just getting your rig right and configured to what it needs to for speed wise because they are a little meticulous. This rig is now running pretty stable at almost 29 mega hash across the board. Um, we, and that was with constant reboots, right, of driver failures and all that, but it is because of the settings. So now we're at 550 watts for this whole system. And I keep going back to this one thing because it, it's, it's labeled wrong. It says PC zoom, but it's actually me zoom. So that's why I keep going to it. One more tweak here. Let's go to 80 or 89, 890. Let's do 895. Millivolt save. One change at a time too. So like if you change that, like what we just did there where we're dropping the millivolts of the, the cards and then you would go to do a, a, a speed change. Like right now we're at stable at 1950, but I could try 1975 to see if I could just get another 25 megahertz out of it. Do those separately. Make sure that otherwise you're just like, I don't know which one's throwing me off. Um, so it's building, it's building the DAG. We'll see after it's done and it actually commits uh, power to the card after the DAG, if it's stable at 890. Oh, it's doing it. We'll see. Right there, look at 900 millivolts. See if we get all the way back up. We're pushing these cards, bro. 26, it's auto-tuning. We're at 27. We'll see if, it's, if it just gets enough juice to start doing that. And then we're at 28 and a half. Oh, almost 29. So we're back up. Let's see what the power is in the main power now. We knocked another 20 watts off. So we're now at 530, 530 watts for these four cards. So RX 570s, four of them running almost 30 mega hash, we're running at 29 mega hash right now. You know, the four of them. Yep, 115, well now we're using about 80, probably about 88 watts on the ancillary power. So total GPU power just under 100. 